All right, this is the uh, end of course uh, algebra 2 practice test, question number 23. The question says, Brittany recorded the total number of ladybugs observed in a garden over a seven day period. Brittany is a very lonely girl. The scatter plot below represents the data that she collected. What type of function do these data points best fit? Now, it asks me about essentially four types of graphs that we can have. We've got a cubic graph, an exponential graph, a linear graph, and a quadratic. Uh, cubic of course, since it's a cube is a three-dimensional figure, I'm going to draw the worst cube you've ever seen. Perfect. Since it's got three dimensions, it looks like x to the third power. So when I plug in x to the third power, it gives me the cor corresponding y. And, x and the graph tends to look like this. And you can graph this uh, y equals x to the third in your calculator and see what it looks like yourself. An exponential graph kind of blows up. So when I have an exponential graph, it starts off slow. It's like bamboo. It grows just a little bit and then bam, way up. Uh, a linear graph, of course, is a one-dimensional, so that would be y equals x, and you get that whole line thing. And then a quadratic is x to the second power, so your graph sort of looks like this. And that was the worst one ever, so I'm going to make one that actually sort of looks like right there, much better. Um, the reality is, in my graph, it's really, it's essentially the first quadrant of a coordinate plane. So I'm looking in this general vicinity right here. So I'm going to look at the data that I'm given and see if I can figure out what the best fit happens to be. Well, it's obviously not linear because the line uh, would look sort of the way that the scale is set up. It would look a little bit like this because for every x I plug in, I should have a matching y. So 1 to 1, 2 to 2, and that whole thing. So it's not going to be that. So that's out. Linear is not a good choice. But if I look at the other graphs, well, if I just look at the first quadrant of the quadratic, it kind of looks like it. Maybe even the cubic looks a little like it, and the exponential looks like it. So I, I had to think a little bit deeper about how to get the right answer visually. So what I'm going to do is plug in the x values and see what the corresponding y's would be. So if I did x squared or the quadratic, I don't know why I'd go to d instead of a, but I just did, so whatever. Um, if I plug in 1, well, 1 squared is just 1, so that seems reasonable. 2 squared is 4, so I, I might agree to that being the case. Uh, 3 squared would be 9. So probably not here, but maybe 4 squared is 16. That's pretty decent. It's my within the realm. 5 squared, of course, is 25. This is way above 25. 6 squared is 36. Wait, I'm way up at 60 something or other. And 7 squared, of course, is 49, which is nowhere near 120. So I don't think quadratic is a really good analysis of the data because it's so far off when I, if I get larger. Spoiler alert, if you add more numbers, it goes even further up. That's why they stopped the graph at 7. So quadratic is out. Uh, for cubic, I would do the same thing. And I'm going to erase out all this crazy drawing and stuff. Uh, I would plug in, but it would be x to the third power. So 1 to the third is just 1, so that seems good. 2 to the third is already up at 8, so I should be up here. Um, and then I'm getting into the 27 range for 3 to the third. Things are not looking good from my idea that it might be a cubic graph, which leaves the exponential, which I said sort of starts off slow and then blows up at the end. Well, that's a perfect analysis of the data because it starts off nice and slow, everything's going great, and then all of a sudden it goes way up here, well above the quadratic graph that we've created earlier. So in this situation, the best fit is answer B, exponential. So plug in some values and see what you get. Maybe you can get something to match perfect and it'll be a nice day for you and you'll get it done much quicker. So good luck.